right, gang, what's up? Welcome back to another edition here of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys taking some time to watch the video. Today, got a good video for you guys. We're gonna give some tips and advice on how to fish and how to catch fish off of mud banks. And they're one of my favorite places to fish simply because they don't get a lot of fishing pressure. So we're gonna get into that a little bit. And real quick before we get started here, just a couple quick housekeeping tips. If you guys haven't had a chance, please hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. We got a big uh, 85,000 subscriber giveaway coming up here pretty quick. All you gotta do is be subscribed to, to uh, win that. And also please visit and click on the view products tab. You'll see a little thing that says view products at the bottom of the video when you click on it. Um, it's a bunch of stuff I'd recommend you guys look at. And anytime you click on one of those uh, view products, the channel gets 20 cents. So that's, that's a good deal. If you'd like to support the channel that way. Okay guys, mud banks, let's talk a little bit. I got actually Elijah down here at the creek with me. He's got his kayak over there. Um, good good time to do the video, I'm watching him. But mud banks, again, they're one of my favorite places to fish simply because they don't attract a lot of attention. And I've caught so many good fish off of mud banks. Um, and particularly on lakes that have a mix of spotted bass, largemouth, and smallmouth. It seems like if I can find a lake that has those combinations, that works pretty good for me. Now, first of all, let's talk a little bit about the lakes that, that are good for mud banks. One of the things I found out about mud bank lake, mud banks and lakes, they work better on lakes that have a little bit cleaner water and a little bit steeper contours to them. So in other words, they work pretty good on some type of a highland impoundment. Not that you can't catch them on any lake, but I've had my best success on you know, some of the lakes like on the Eastern Tennessee lakes, some of the lakes here in the Ozarks, uh, Southeast part of the country, that type of stuff. Places like Lake Lanier in Georgia, Lake Cumberland, Tennessee, Lake Douglas in Tennessee, you know, and all here in the Ozarks. Another thing you'll find out about um, the best times to fish mud banks is during times of the year where the water levels are a little bit lower. So therefore, my favorite time to fish a mud bank is sort of like, this time of year on in through early spring before the water gets up. Ideally, my favorite, by far my favorite times to fish it are in late fall and during the pre-spawn. That seems like that's when a lot of fish will use them. Now, a lot of things on these mud banks, there's nothing really to hold the fish there because most of the time they have a fairly slow, flat taper. There's not much of a break or drop on them. A lot of times you're not fishing points, all the points can be a little bit more productive. And there's not much there to hold the fish. You may have some occasional isolated rock off the bank, but I think one of the biggest reasons that bass use mud banks is I think a lot of crawdads live on them. You know, you see a lot of holes in the mud, crawdads live in that type of stuff. Some, maybe sometime the mud can hold, reflect the heat a little bit better. <clears throat> Water can be a little bit, a little bit uh, uh, warmer there. But overall, it doesn't really make sense for a fish to use a mud bank a lot because it doesn't really offer much cover. So in my opinion, a lot of it has to do with the food there, whether it be the shad, the perch, the crawdads, whatever. That's, that's what brings them in there. So the first thing I'm looking, like I said, I'm looking for fish those mud banks in a little bit lower water conditions. And I like water visibility of at least three foot, ideally four or five feet. My favorite techniques for mud banks if the water temperature is over 65 degrees they're awesome with a top water spinner bait i'll use a walking top water a prop bait and i'll take a little spinner bait and i'll burn it especially they, they work really good under low light conditions early and late in the day cloudy days raining it, i've caught so many good fish guys buzzing a little burning a little quarter ounce spinner bait over mud points uh early and late in the day and then up in the day um i like to fish uh, crankbaits on them and jerk baits in the cooler water. So late fall, early winter, pre-spawn, um, fishing some type of a flat-sided crankbait or jerk bait on those same things. So concentrate around the points. They like the points a little bit better, although you can catch them on straight banks. But guys, the main point of the video is don't overlook them. Man, mud banks are great places to catch bass. They get overlooked a lot. And uh, I think you guys will, will catch some good fish on them if you just try it. So Anyway, I'm going to get back over here, Elijah. I've been looking for some arrowheads. I cannot find a dang arrowhead to save my life. It's like I, I'm on some arrowhead groups around here in Missouri, and I see these guys posting, you know, they'll have five arrowheads. Said, oh, I was out for a couple hours this evening and found these. I've been looking for four months, and I have not found one yet, Wading Creek. So I'm going to keep looking, in other words. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you later.